The following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Wetzel Quaddle Entertainment presents Quinn's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 130, Conclusion. To Animation Land. As you can see, I just had my manuscript for Chapter 26 of Team of the Sentai Going to the Shueisha. Well, Eagle's throwing a farewell party in the snack shop gone tonight, and I cannot wait to say my farewells to them. Of course, the Kota Kuji's May 6th Sailor Senji and I still have to annihilate Queen Metallia, so just be on the lookout for anything suspicious. Oh my god! I think I see something suspicious right now! A humanoid dark cloud! I better alert to Kota Kuji's May 6th and Sailor Senji! Come on! So, you saw a humanoid dark cloud approaching Saffron City? Exactly! I think this humanoid dark cloud might be Queen Metallia. The time has come for the final battle with the Dark Kingdom. Come on, girls! This is a fateful moment for not only Animation Land, but for the entire world as well! Transformation! Moon Prism Power! Mega! Alright, let's go, girls! Metallia's reign of terror is finally over! Are you the ones who've been causing trouble to my army? That's right, and we'll destroy you as we did to your Dark Kingdom! Dang! Die! Oh my god! Metallia is stronger than we expected! Go to Kuji's! Use your monster forms! Right! Monster transformation! Now let's do this! Your puny little monster forms won't do anything against me! Bowser, you and Sailor Moon are the only ones who can defeat Metallia! You're the reincarnations of the Sun Prince and the Moon Princess, respectively! I haven't even unlocked my special solar power yet! How are we gonna do this? Quentin. Oh my god! Bulma, are you alright? Yes, but that might change soon. You know, this might be a bad time to ask you to finish your Dragon Ball story, but I think it's time to finish. I think so too. Well, it turns out Goku was the monster I told you about last time. I could have sworn he was. Whenever Goku looks at the full moon, he turns into a giant ferocious monkey. He destroyed the prison, so at least the rest of us could get out of here. But Goku was now a mindless monster, so he tried to attack us. It seemed as if we were doomed, but Yamcha learned earlier that Goku's weakness was his tail. So he had Krohar turn into a pair of giant scissors and cut Goku's tail off. Goku turned back to his human form, naked and asleep. The next morning, Ulan, Yamcha, and I decided not to tell Goku that he was the one who killed his grandpa. When Goku woke up, he realized his clothes and his tail were missing, but he got over it real quick. Ulan gave Goku his pants so that we would stop being embarrassed. Goku then went to the ruins of Pilaf's castle to find his new bowl. It seems that I would have to wait until next year to wish for a cute boyfriend, but I realized that Yamcha was standing there. By the time Goku found his Nyoibo, Yamcha and I had fallen in love. I guess you didn't need the Dragon Balls after all. Yep. Anyway, Yamcha decided to go with me to the city. Ulan and Kapoor decided to tag along. As for Goku, he decided to go to Kami Sen's place so he could get stronger. I gave Goku the Dragon Radar so he could find his Grandpa's ball in a year. We all said our goodbyes and went our own separate ways. It's a happily ever after after all. Wait a minute, that's it! I only have to unleash my ultimate form in order to help Sailor Moon kill Metallia! Monster Transformation! Oh my god! And this is the last minute for me. Well, this isn't even my ultimate form. Ultimate Transformation! What? The Sun Prince is the ultimate power boss too?! Yes, I've unlocked my special solar form, and now it's time to finally use Sailor Mass Destruction! It burns! Oh, it burns! Ah! Now, Sailor Moon, let's end this! Great! More healing escalation! Sailor 
Your mass destruction! No! No! We did it! But Prince Charming just died! it! Wait a minute! The Solar Millennium has been restored and flourished! The Golden Millennium is restored too! You, Bowser, are the new King of the Sun, and you, Sailor Moon, are the new Queen Serenity! But I'm a science Aquino! I've got a family here in Animation Land! Don't worry, we'll stay here in Animation Land until our time comes. Suit yourselves, maybe Ornips and I will see you again someday! When the job, we still have to get ready for the Gorgeous Farewell Party! Oh yeah! Come on, girls! Let's get ready to have fun and take our minds off of all this! Thanks for helping us take down Queen Metallia. We couldn't have done it without you. And to think, the Powerpuff League Tournament at the Indigo Plateau was only three weeks away. I can't wait for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get ready for the Go Rangers farewell party. Come back and join us anytime you want to, and we'll be waiting for you, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was loosely based on the chapter of Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, written by Naoko Takeuchi, copyright 1992-1997. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. Public Television Network.